stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my brig from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenway. Find the sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. Opia? Oh, easy, milady. Just thought you might like some help. Why? What is your real motive? Your name was on a map. You may have sold it to a nest of Templars in error. We all make mistakes. Oh, typical. Twist a Templar play to our back to play saver to our face. Look, I level with you, lass. I'm also looking for a key. I figure I help you. You let me keep the key if it turns up. Right. You're offended. I'll go. We will challenge you to a hunting contest. Gather more skins than us, and you win. Easy. Let's go. That's not fair. White Jaguar, a fine catch. You have more than proven yourself. We accept your help. With what? Look. Frigate. Why? Is there anything out there but fish? No. Those are your Templars. You have a ship and a pale face, vessel and passport. Meet us at Caiman to help us investigate.
Opia. And how are we today? Surprised. We did not think you would keep your word. Tell us, why do you expect to find your magic key here? It holds an irresistible attraction to Templars, if that is who bought these ships. We don't know what the Templars could want here. These people lead simple fishing lives. Or perhaps not so simple. I'll go and have a mingle, see what we can find out. <laughs> show you the bill of sale if you like. Senorita Marquez's right-hand man, Vargas, signed it himself. She's using his home as her headquarters. I even met her there when I delivered the fish. You see, Alvin is practically nobility now. <laughs> A noble fisherman, indeed. Were you successful? I kept overhearing this name. Marquez. <gasps> Friend of yours? Her name matches that of the man who destroyed our village. We fought and lost, but the leader did not live to enjoy his victory. You think this woman is related? If she is, we are not safe. The bill of sale we stole gives the address of a man in her employ. Vargas. I saw. I know where it is. Let's pay the bait boy a visit. Find out what he knows. Follow us. You must try to understand what it is at stake. I've got some idea. No, it's more than your key. There are those who say the Taino are already extinct. We will never be extinguished. Our fight continues. Here it is, the home of Vargas. Height, we'll use the element of surprise to our advantage. Get out of sight! Hola! State your business! I hope for an audience with Senorita Marquez. Chase him!
Out with it, lad. Where's Marquez? Why is she here? She's already left for Juvel Jude. Find her there if you must. Her army will teach you a lesson. Who went to this island of our enemies? If Lucia Marquez has gone there, it is certain we are hurt. How many enemies do you have? When you're hunted, it sometimes seems that every stranger is an enemy. On Juventud, we have been a truth since the death of the first Marcus, but this woman could reignite our dispute if her price is high enough. Ah, can't have that. I take this ship. Meet me there if you still want your key. since we were here. This jungle is still thick with vines and trickery. Marcus will use this to her advantage. But we know she's here. She doesn't expect us. We must find her, draw her out, and put a final end to her. Let's see where this lad goes. She must be hiding. Let's take some action she can't ignore. Eliminate this man. Use a powder keg!
cannot die at the ends of the Taino. My father saw such potential in this islands. Gold. Industry. Freedom. All of it squandered. You have not a clue how to use it. He could have brought you wealth. You believe we wasted freedom of being free? You die a prisoner of your Templar moors. Let's not argue with a dead woman. Here's my prize.
What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more. Meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other men who was asking about the princess this morning. So I told him that... What other men? Haughty sailor in plain rags. And a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. As does the crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close.
right here. Such deplorable conduct. Is it shit? Alarm! Alarm! Have you alerted the men? We're short on time. Aye. Right. There'll be two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. Very good. You don't mind me asking, sir. What's the meaning behind that blood is required for the observatory to properly function? How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the King's blood to do so. In other words, a small sample of blood gives us access to a man's everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on me, then? For I've just given him a sample of my blood. As have I, Captain Hornigold, as will all Templars. It is a measure of insurance. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our samples to a Templar safe house in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subjects, I assure you. Aye, sir. I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods were you? I believe it was my charisma to persuade you. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men, or be hanged by the neck until death. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. <laughs> it's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we? and dripping that treacle.
Grandmaster, welcome. Buenas noches. What have you learned? The princess was taken by pirates six weeks ago. And so far as we know, the sage Roberts was still aboard. And what measures are you taking to recover the princess from his pirates? Captain Hornigo has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage is captured. What of the sage's present relation? Africa, Your Excellency. Africa? By God. The winds do not take I concur, Grandma. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a swift journey. Slave galley? Captain, I asked you to divest yourself of that citizen. I failed to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to reach. But, enslaved the man's mind, and his body will follow. Natural. A fair point, Grandmaster. Remind me, where in Africa are we looking? Principe, sir, a small island. We've sent two of our best men, Burgess and Cochrane. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us down river. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real, something beyond yourself. What's our course, Captain? Principe, quartermaster. We're sailing for the coast of Africa.
Captain Kenway. Yet another dire situation, Roberts. We really must stop meeting like this. Stop tailing me and your wish had come true. There's no need for this. You know I'm as good as my word. Our Captain Howell was killed today in a Portuguese ambush. Headstrong fool. I warned him not to go ashore. It was orchestrated by the Templars, Burgess and Cockrum. The same sort that took you to Havana. Ah. I see now there is no escaping the Templar's attention, is there? I suppose it is time to fight back. I do like the sound of that. And I know just how I'll do it. But these men, Burgess and Cockrum, they cannot be allowed to leave with word of my escape. They won't. Count on it.
Only what you can carry, maggot. We're not waiting on no one. Put some muscle in that bustle, or we're leaving you behind. and haul your asses to port. We're weighing anchor. <laughs> you done us good, Kenway. Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <laughs> a cocksure, Cully? Just like Harlegold said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the Templars who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? <clears throat> Service. There are thin commons, no wages upon them. Yet, as gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. So what man with a sensible mind would choose the former life, when the only hazard we pirates run is a sour look from those without strength or splendor? <laughs> now, I have been among you six weeks, and in that time, I have adopted your outlook as my own, and with so fierce a conviction that it may frighten you to see your passions reflected from me in so stark a light. But, if it's a captain you see in me now, I then, I'll be your bloody captain. Yeah! For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! You yes! oh. fatten with your assistance. I'm looking for the observatory. Folks say you're the only man that can find it. Folks are correct. Despite my distaste for your eagerness, I see in you a touch of untested genius. I'm Bartholomew Roberts. Edward. I've no secrets to share with you now. But if you'll lend me your aid, in two months' time west of the Leeward Islands, well, it's there you'll get some answers, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> 